what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so days after i put up that video talking about what jocelyn hudon has been doing recently on twitter instagram and liking comments and after we got news of parkside alpha being the working title from screen five and after 3c films did some digging finding a lot of audition tapes for characters named Teresa, annie ryan and after i did my video elaborating on some other audition tapes including those characters of Annie and uh, Ryan and Jocelyn Hudon now making it more than apparent that she had indeed landed a role in Screen 5 to appear as Teresa. We now have Zach Cherry to thank because he has a full list of characters that were sent to him from a few individuals. Some insiders reached out to him and what happened was they basically did inform him of a, a, a casting sheet that's that's the most that I could I could decipher. They gave him a casting sheet. And then what's also interesting is in Zach Cherry's video, because I watched his video, he managed to gain access to those audition tapes. And after doing some of my own digging and reworking some passwords that it might be, I managed to, yes, guess the password the first time when I was doing it. However, I was off by one letter. I went back to those videos, put in the letter that I was missing, for these passwords to get access to these videos and they let me write in i watched these audition tapes gained some new knowledge what we could expect out of a character such as Teresa, such as a character of annie who is the african-american uh female that we're looking or expecting to be featured in screen five now i'm gonna just start reading off the list of new characters that we have here because they they sent Zach Cherry a list of new characters that match up perfectly with these some of these audition tapes that are out here and what's what it looks like is that we have a brand new heroine that we'll be following it won't be sydney prescott it'll be a young woman named sarah sarah's 24 years old intelligent and friendly she left her hometown at 18 due to a troubled past she is currently taking medication to continue her current life she has a new boyfriend ryan with whom she works at a costco store with then we have Teresa, who is again a character we've already talked about 18 years old sarah's little sister so Teresa is the younger sibling of sarah uh she resents sarah for leaving her alone when she left town and then we have ryan 25 years old sarah's boyfriend handsome kind he works with sarah at costco is understandable and knows how to carry sarah's emotions then we have a character named layla 18 years old she is imaginative has pink hair she's cow's girlfriend and one of Teresa's best friends then we have Maude, 18 years old, Latin, Kyle's twin sister. She is direct and says everything that goes through her head without thinking. Then we have Kyle himself, 18 years old. Of course, this would be Maude's twin brother. He is athletic, self-confident, and Layla's boyfriend. And then we have Ani, or Annie, another character that I've already mentioned previously talking about in other videos. Annie is 18 years old, hard and sarcastic. She is Teresa's girlfriend and protects her a lot. They have been a couple for a year. Um, and then we have Will, 17 years old, good student, and he doesn't like to get into trouble. He is a very good friend of Teresa. So based off of all that, what I already like about this off, off, off the top is the diversity that we have here. We have uh, the LGB, LGBT community getting rec recognition. Uh, we have a black character because annie the audition tape that uh is up for that character is of course being portrayed by a black actress so they must be looking for a black actress to portray that role annie must be an african-american and then we have just a breath of fresh air when it comes to who we're following in the story so i what i will say i'm disappointed with is that there's no mention of the person being followed being kirby now i do want to address that really quick that doesn't mean Kirby's not in the movie. This is a list of new characters. They're not going to make mention or make any descriptions about Kirby because Kirby isn't a new character and there's nobody needed to fill that role. That role is already filled by Hayden Pantier. The same way how this list does not mention Nev Campbell's character, does not mention David Arquette's character, is not going to mention Courtney Cox's character. If we're talking about new characters, there's no need to mention Kirby or the fact that Kirby's coming back. There's no need to talk about any characters that are already established in this franchise. So I appreciate the fact that a lot of people are speculating that this is like the nail in the coffin for Kirby. Very well could be. But again, if we're talking about strictly new characters, I'm just going over a list of new characters. We're not talking about existing characters. So Hayden Pantier, Kirby still got that 5% chance. Chances of her returning now are looking pretty slim. 
but yes, still there's a chance. <laughs> um, but I want to get into based off of what we just talked about in this Sarah thing. Now I'm going to talk about what I got from the audition tapes, looking at Jocelyn Hudon's audition tape for Teresa, because I did manage to get into that. It looks like Sarah and Teresa, the siblings have an estranged relationship due to their father leaving their mother all these years ago when Sarah was 13 and Teresa was eight or something like that. And what's interesting about it is we don't know what exactly went on, but the mother from the audition tape, Teresa's mother, Sarah's mother, their mother has a drug addiction, it would appear. She has a drug addiction. She isn't something that they get, a, isn't a, doesn't sound like a person they get along with too much. Sarah is, is seen as the enemy in this for leaving her sister behind to deal with the baggage, I guess, that her mother endured on her or had to go had to endure and then let out onto Teresa because of Teresa being the youngest one being the one to be left in the coop while Sarah left town Sarah left town when she was again 18 years old it says here due to a troubled past so she must have went to want must have went to college and went to school out of town and for some reason she comes back to town that goes back to the original plot synopsis that we already know for screen five so a young woman returns or a woman who returns to her hometown after a, after some heinous crimes and she's trying to investigate these crimes to figure out who who's done it what that has to do with sydney gale and sydney gale and dewey i do not know based off of what we already have with the already sign of approval from Kevin Williamson, a little sign of approval from Nev Campbell. It is very interesting to see what they have in have in mind and how that's going to tie into the original trio. Because what this looks like is glimpses of the screen TV series tied into now with the original trio, taking a step back, not letting them be the focus, which is what I was already expecting uh, in some capacity. I know a lot of people want this to be all about Sydney, but we're at some point you're going to have all these movies be all about Sydney. You're going to be hitting a dry spot in this whale because how many people are going to keep coming after Sydney Prescott? What I will get behind is I'm expecting at some point in this franchise or in this film itself for the killers to have some type of connection to Sydney Prescott or how Sydney and the gang end up in this town because it doesn't even sound like they're going to be in Woodsboro. They might very well be in Woodsboro. I'm just really excited now to see what this will have to do with the original trio and what would lead to them going out to this going out to this new town. If, in fact, we are getting a new town because it doesn't sound like it's Woodsboro. Um, it might still be Woodsboro. I believe it's Woodsboro. But with the fact that we have a juicy, a juicy kind of triangle here with Sarah's mother, Teresa, and then Sarah herself, who appears to be our young woman returning to her home, her hometown. You got to keep in mind that that's similar to Scream 1. So it's quite possible they're, they are going to be our main characters. And those characters will have the most to do with who ends up being the killer reveal. And it's quite possibly might be someone from the something to do with the father that abandoned the family. It might have something to do with Sarah herself who walked out when she was 18. It might have something to do with the mother. Um, might not have anything to do with all with Sydney Prescott. And Sydney is just here as moral support. I don't really like that idea too too much. I hope they tie it in somehow with Sydney Prescott. I'm all for a fresh take, though. I'm all for a fresh take. I'm all for this. Uh, yes, it's out of the it's out of context with what we're used to because Scream has always stuck to that same formula. They've always stuck to the same formula. It's about Sydney. It's about about who's after Sydney. It's kind of nice to see it's not that case this time, or it looks like it's not that case because it could very well end up being one of the biggest plot twists in history with the fact that, like I said before, if they manage to somehow loop this into a narrative that regards this family with Sidney Prescott's family, that'll just, that'll have me floored. I, I, I'm hoping that's what it is, but if it's not, I'll just got to judge the movie for what it is. Judge it based off of what it is, not what you want it to be. You got to base, when you're doing criticisms for movies, always base it off of what they gave you. So I know this is a little disappointing for people with these new characters, and it sounds like Dewey, Sydney, and Gale are going to be kind of just there as legacy characters. But at this stage in the game, you got to start branching out. If that's what they're wanting to do, I'm not really too disappointed with what we have here with this. Uh, I can say that I hope Sydney Prescott is tied into the center of it somehow. 
But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and then another thing to keep in mind. We still don't have any confirmation of whether or not Nev Campbell and Courtney, are, Courtney Cox will be involved. So just keep that in mind. But of course, we'll get news in the coming weeks. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.